elbow. So most of the range of motions are best to assess for the elbow on the table, but we can uh, we do need to lift the, ha the hand up off the table for extension. So Hannah, if I get you to turn your hand over for flexion, and then lifting the elbow up off the table for extension. And we're looking for hyperextension in this position, and we can see that Hannah does have that um, if we're looking at this angle here. So hypermobility is very common in the elbows, um, and particularly in women. To resist, or to do active movement for the elbow, I can bring up this way, supporting underneath the elbow and then lifting up and once again coming off. And then our resisted movements are going to be in this position here. So if you can come into flexion and extension back down in the other way. Okay, and relax. Now we also need to look at uh, pronation and supination. Even though we think about that for the hand, it actually happens um, at the elbow joint. So we'll just ask you to do that. So have your elbow down on the table and you're going from a position of supination into pronation and pronation to supination. And I can resist those movements by stabilising over the wrist joint and asking you to turn your the palm of your hand down towards the table and then the palm of her hand up towards the ceiling. Okay. That's active, passive and resisted movements for the elbow.